All right, and we're back. Last week's game really sucked. Couldn't get a win to save our lives there. Just couldn't get the, you know, the fundamentals down. This week, though, we're going to travel on the road, and we're going to go a little bit north. We're going to go to Foxborough. We're going to go take on the New England Patriots, the six-time Super Bowl champions that haven't really done too much since Tom Brady left. Can this... I don't want to call him Bill Belichick because it ain't Bill Belichick anymore. Figure out how the Patriots are going to get back onto their high horse. Or will the Commanders figure it out? And you know what? I don't know. You know, I had like this whole intro and it was going to go well. You know, I'm, I'm, I might try it again. Y'all think I should try it again? Nah, nah. We, we do one takes here. The only time I actually will redo is when it's something like completely, completely obscene and I can't get it done. But we lost to the Eagles last week, and it sucked. We lost by, like, a touchdown. So, I'm going to be trying to get some things done here and get ready for our rematch against the uh, the Giants now. I'm not saying, like, we're going to ignore opponents, but the divisional games, I believe, are, like, your more important games, especially as we get closer to the end of the season. We're already past the halfway point. Haven't really made any trades. Made some re-signings. Don't know if I put it on here, but I'm pretty sure I did. Chase. No, we know Montez Sweat has been re-signed. We know Cameron Curl has been re-signed. I'll make sure that it's in the update video on who all has been re-signed. It's Mac Jones and the Patriots are going to come out and they're going to start the first drive. By the way, the best thing about the franchise doing this, I think it's way easier to uh, to uh, edit for defense as I don't ever show play art, so it's really just going play by play as Kendrick Bourne's going to have a first down and he had Kendall Fuller on him. So, in the commentary mode I go. First down run for Ezekiel Elliott. Chase Young's having none of it. Ezekiel Elliott being the leading back on his team wearing that 15 that he wore when he was going to Ohio State. Now, Mac Jones drops back. Very deep drop looking for Zeke. This time he'll hold on to it as Cody Barton tried to draw that bar loose, but to no avail. That's going to bring up a third and medium with Mac Jones and thinking he was going to run. Taking a shot, and this one will be caught by Kendrick Bourne. I think that's Fuller, and he was just a little bit too far Thinking that the ball might have been overthrown, but hey, uh, Kendrick Bourne's going to catch it, can only live with it, and there's a false start on the, look like the right tackle there. That's going to back him up five yards. I didn't want y'all to just like come back and see his first and 15. I wanted to give y'all the explanation. So, Jones dropping back, looking over the middle, and that is Anthony Ferkser as they traded away Hunter Henry. And Mike Gesicki is not able to play this game. So they have Anthony Ferkser and a long snapper of a tight end at 27 overall that just made his first catch. And he's the end man on the line of scrimmage. Oh, Lord. So now Mac Jones was looking over the middle and Deron Payne could have had a big boy interception. Maybe could have took it back for six, but incompletion is going to have the Patriots go kick a field goal here. That's going to get them on the board first as they drive down the field. Almost, you know, no resistance. They're able to put something there at the end. So now Mac Jones, having crossed the 2K yard mark, comes out onto the field and he brings out this commander's offense. What do y'all think the commander's name is going to change to as the owner has said, you know, Redskins isn't coming back? Brian Robinson, good first down run of 11 yards. Having a lot more success already than he did against the Eagles. A play action fake for Robinson. How looking fine Dotson. That's 28 yards. Up to the 43 yard line on a play action fake. Now, Howell's going to hand off to Robinson. Another good run. Good blocking. We. No, no, no. No, that didn't happen. I thought we. I thought something happened. My bad. My bad, guys. So, hand off to Gibson. Even he's getting some good runs. And I think what we need to start doing is if Robinson's not getting good runs and we're still trying to run the ball, we have to start turning to some of the other backs. Play action fake to Gibson. How looking in zone shot. And this one will be caught by Terry McLaurin. First touchdown of the day scored by the Commanders. Nice crossing route pattern. Probably could have got that ball out earlier, but Scary Terry, no, he doesn't like that name, is going to get the touchdown. And now Ferks are here. We'll have a first down up the 37 yard line. Elliott in the backfield. It's going to be a throw here. And this time he's going to find Juju Smith Schuster. 
first catch for him in this game. I wonder how that's really going to work out as he does have some knee problems that is really starting to come up. Zeke looking for a crease there. Very inconcisive. Couldn't decide on where he wanted to do. Indecisive, excuse me. Couldn't decide on what he wanted to do there, so it's going to go for no gain. Now, second and ten, Jones looking over the middle, and this pass just, uh, just offline. Looking for Zach Pascal, who was cut by the Cardinals and signed here last week. This time, I believe he was looking for Smith Schuster. Just going to be offline on that throw again. So now, Howell dropping back for the Commanders. He'll find Cole Turner over the middle. Another first down throw here for Howell. Play action, Faye Howell looking. Taking a shot with three defenders in the area. And that pass will be batted down by Christian Gonzalez, the rookie out of Oregon. So now, second and ten, handoff to Brian Robinson. Looking for a hole there, he didn't quite hit it right, and it's going to bring up third and nine. Now, how looking, scrambling to the right, looking to throw on the run, and this one's going to be picked off by Kyle Duggar. Going to be forced out of bounds at the 40-yard line. We got to stop trying to make those on-the-run throws and just throw this ball away. How still is a young quarterback, still trying to learn that, you know, giving him what should be his rookie season right now, as Jones is going to find Kendrick Bourne pretty much open on the right side, taking the ball up to the 18-yard line. So now, first and 10. Jones dropping back, looking left. He's going to be hit as he was almost sacked there. He will get the throw away. Live to play another down here. So second and 10. Jones drops back, deep drop again, looking over to the right side. He's going to find his tight end. I'm going to be honest with y'all. As a 27 overall, I don't know dude's name. And I know it came up on the screen, but I was not looking. So, third and six for the, for the Patriots. Mac Jones going to drop back again. This time he'll find Zach Pascal. That'll bring up first and goal from the seven. Pascal starting to talk that trash. Now, Jones will hand it off to Zeke, and he is going to fight his way into the end zone. Touchdown for the Patriots. I'm not saying Zeke's looking in his prime right there, but it does have to feel nice to see him getting in the end zone. So, first and ten for the Commanders. Now down by three is going to be a handoff to Antonio Gibson. He's going to get about a gain of three here. That's going to bring up second and seven as Howell drops back. Looking a little bit to the left side. He's going to find Logan Thomas trying to get to the first down marker. He'll get another gain of three. That'll bring up third and four. So now Howell over the middle. He's going to find Curtis Samuel. He'll have the first down. And now here on first and 10 with the first quarter coming to an end, Brian Robinson will take this carry and he will only gain a yard here. Four for 32. Might not be much, but it does look better than last week. And Howell is going to be hit as he throws. So that'll be an incomplete pass, bringing up third and nine. Now Howell, pressure in his face, trying to go for the screen, but the D lineman is just too fast. Got to force an incompletion there. Commanders have to punt. So now, first and 10 for the Patriots here. It's going to be a handoff to Zeke, and Davis is having none of that. Tackle for no gain. That's what happens when the defensive line plays well enough, keeps the linebackers clean. That's one reason why, like, at least in the run game, we do have a top five running defense. Passing defense is something that could be a whole lot better. Still trying to find a balance in the sliders there, but, you know, we're, we're working on it. So now, on third and ten, how? Third and ten, Jones is just going to throw this one to the sideline. Had no receivers open that he could see. So now, first and ten, how? Handing it off to Robinson. Finds a hole. Gets another first down run. 47 yards. And just like that, we're having a way better game than we did last week against the Eagles. Now Howell's looking over the middle, and this pass broken up by Kyle Duggar. I think he was looking for interception number two there. So now, hand off to Brian Robinson. He's going to break one tackle, but I think ultimately he's going to be tackled for a loss here by Jawan Bentley. So now Howell's going to drop back. Looking over the middle, he'll find Jahan Dodson. He'll hold on to this pass. It'll be a first down at the 25-yard line. Howell quick set. He's going to find Curtis Samuel trying to use some of that speed. Breaking one tackle, he'll get about a gain of eight here. How now at 100 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Hand off to Robinson. Jukes inside. Go ahead and get the first down there. 
from the 13 yard line. How? A little bit of pressure. He's looking right side. He's going to find Jahan Dotson. They're going to say touchdown. The ref finally throws up the hands. And where's the graphic on the screen? Where is it? There it is. Touchdown for the Commanders. Now up by four. So now Jones. Some pressure coming to the face. And he's going to find Ferkser. Gaining seven yards on this play. So second and three here. Play action. Jones will find Smith Schuster. He'll have the first down on this play. Now first and ten, just about halfway through the uh, through the second quarter here. Jones will fake draw and will be sacked by Chase Young. First sack of the day for the Commanders. Was looking for more effort for Chase Young. Wanted to see more than just tackles for losses, but there we go. We ended up seeing a sack here. Now Jones looking right side, finds Pascal, the uh, loss of one. That's going to bring up third and 11. Just know they didn't pick up the, uh, the first down there. So Cole Turner is going to get the first down. No, Cole Turner is going to get the first down catch, and he'll be, uh, he'll be tackled after a gain of nine. Hand off to Brian Robinson, looking for the edge, and I think they're going to give him the first down. That's tough. So now, how? No pressure in his face. Taking a shot for Dotson, and this one will be caught. I mean, that's that's. First of first of all, what? Excuse me. We're really, just gonna do that? Really, just gonna that the most disrespectful play of the game? I, I don't care how you look at it. Taking a post shot with two defenders in the area and Dodson's just going to catch it. I don't know what happened with the corner back there and Duggar was just trailing behind, but Howell's feeling all kinds of confidence. He's a gunslinger and I don't think that's going to change about him. So, up 21-10 now. Jones, over the middle, will find Kendrick Bourne. He'll have the first down. He'll be tackled around the 40-yard line. So now, first and 10. Jones, over the middle again, was looking for his tight end. And this ball will end up being dropped. Now, Jones hand off to Zeke. Probably what they should stick with. I mean, I'm only saying that after this run. And he's going to hand it off to Zeke again. And he'll get another first down on the play. Now I can say, yeah, they probably should stick with this. As Zeke is averaging about four yards to carry. It's about what you want from your running back. Another handoff. But Jonathan Allen says, shut that up. Lose two yards here. And let's ruin that average by taking y'all back. So now, on 2nd and 12, Jones tossed to Zeke. His lineman just does not get that block in time. Zeke could have turned the corner and maybe avoided Davis altogether, but it's not what's going to happen here. Commander's rushing forward. Jones is going to find Smith Schuster, who's going to walk him on, walk his own self out of bounds right at the 14-yard line. So now Jones, quick pass, finds Smith Schuster on the corner route. He's going to take advantage of rookie Emmanuel Forbes there and get the Patriots a touchdown, bringing this score back within four as we approach halftime. About a minute 40 left. Quick pass, left side, Dotson on the comeback route. is going to have a first down. Short of midfield, though, now how looking. We'll find Robinson out of the backfield. He's been taking majority of the snaps at running back this game. Now, how over the middle, looking for Curtis Samuel. This one's going to be dropped. It's going to bring up third and five. Now, how pump fake here, looking to take a shot, and this one's just going to be batted away by Christian Gonzalez, showing the play recognition there as we were looking for Curtis Samuel. So now, on first and ten from their own ten, Howell's going to find. I'm trying to remember who number zero was. Marquez Callaway, when did they get him? When in this universe did they trade or pick up Marquez Callaway? I'm going to have to go look at that one. But that's going to be the end of the first half there. Commanders up 21-17. to Already scoring more points than they did last week. Chiefs, in, uh, looking around the league, Chiefs are up 21-7. to The Bears are up 17-7. to And the Vikings and Falcons are both tied at 10. Going ahead, jumping back into our reality game here. A handoff for Robinson. Trying to find a crease. He'll find something and he'll gain about four yards here. Now second and six. Play action fake. How 
Scrambling, and this one's going to be batted down. Matt Judon in coverage. Now how? No pressure in his face. He's looking for McLaurin. He'll have him. And right now, Ricky Stormberg is shaken up. It looks like he'll head back to the locker room. And he's going to have broken ribs, and we're going to be missing him for a few weeks. So, Zeke's going to take this carry, he's going to break a couple of tackles, and he's going to get the first down and be brought down at the 47-yard line. Another handoff to Zeke. Patriots might have heard my advice here <clears throat> and started giving the ball to Zeke. I mean, the average isn't really there at 3.1 yards a carry, but I mean, the commander's defensive line is just playing, I, I feel it playing really well, allowing the linebackers to really just flow to the ball. As now Jones looking pressure, finally getting to him, and he'll throw this one out of bounds to the right side. None of the commanders had the ball back. Look, should be looking to score here. Brian Robinson bouncing off his own blockers and defenders like a pinball here. Now a quick pass to Terry McLaurin. He'll pick up a block. He'll have the first down, and that'll be up to the 47-yard line. Howell passed 220 yards here. And this is going to be a counter run for Robinson. He's going to get tackled from behind. Five yards of carry for Robinson here. Now how? Screen pass. Finally able to get it off. He'll pick up one block by Ro Robinson. Picks up one block. He'll be brought down after gaining a few here. That's going to bring up third and two. So now, hand off to Antonio Gibson. He'll bounce off a couple of blocks there he'll get the first down as he's over five yards to carry as well three rushes for 16 yards quick pass to Dotson. he's gonna break one defender's ankles try it again but he'll get tackled for the first down they're gonna count this as a rushing play for Dotson. <clears throat> so now gibson using some of that speed to try and get to the corner is gonna cut it up and only gain one yard here how a little bit of pressure finally coming over to him that's gonna force an out of bounds throw so Third and nine from a 28 yard line coming up as Howell drops back, looks over the middle, and oh, that pass is dropped by Curtis Samuel. Tried to dive and go get it. That's going to force the commanders to have to kick a field goal here when they should be draining more of the clock and scoring a touchdown to go up by 11, but they're only going to go up by seven here. <clears throat> so, first and 10 for the Patriots now, only down by seven. Have a chance to go down the field and tie this game. Jones, pressure in his face. He's going to be sacked. And they're going to give that credit to Montez Sweat. Chase Young looked like he was also in on the play. Now Jones, a little bit of pressure. This one's going to be knocked away. Was looking for Pascal and Jartavius Martin is there. Now third and 22. Look at this as Jones going to take the shot. And Smith Schuster is going to catch it on Fuller who started to follow him around. So first and 10 now from the opposing 40. I mean, how do we let that play happen? It just does. Now Jones, a little bit of pressure. He's going to roll to his right, looking for his receiver. But Davis is right there to force that incompletion. Now second and 10, handoff to Zeke. He's going to find a hole. He'll get the first down. And Cameron Curl is going to make a touchdown saving tackle there. So first and 10 here. Starting to get to the end of the third quarter now. Play action fake, and this pass brought broken up by Kendall Fuller. Smith Schuster ends up dropping it. Another play action fake. How looking, and it's just going to throw this one away. Pressure in the face. Something that we're going to need a lot more if we want to win this game. And on third and ten, they're just going to elect to run the ball. What? They're going to just go for the field goal and just try to get the guaranteed points and bring this game back within four. <clears throat> I mean, I don't, I, don't, I don't know how to feel about that. Third and ten and you run the ball. But A, maybe they know something we don't. So now how? Looking left side, play action, fake there. Looking for Dotson. It's going to be incomplete. Off right snap. Now looking for Turner. And this one's going to be broken up by Christian Gonzalez. Rookie's playing some really good football right now. So third and 10. Don't want to get the Patriots the ball back here. And that looks like that's exactly what we're going to end up doing. Two minutes left in the uh, third quarter. 
and the Patriots will have the ball back after a punt. Now Zeke taking this carry. It's going to be brought down by the defensive line. That's John Denala not allowing any more yards after contact. Now Zeke, good carry here. He'll have another first down. Just under four yards of carry. Starting to pick up his average and never mind as he's going to lose a yard here. Could have could have had that average still be good, but it is what it is. So now Jones might be changing the play at the line of scrimmage here. Quick pass over to Ferkser, and it looks like they're going to give him the first down in a very generous spot. I thought his knee was down before the first down marker, but what does it matter? As now it's going to be a stretch right for Zeke. Trying to stiff arm one defender, he'll break that tackle. He'll get a gain of nine here. Don't look at me to do the math anymore. Once you pass 60, I, I, I don't know. Now, quick pass will be dropped. Okay, it's not I don't know. I'm just not going to do the math. I don't, I'm not going to have it set up for you guys. <clears throat> Another toss play, and Chase is going to have that one wrapped up. Hit him with a WWE move for good measure. It's now on fourth and four here. Looking, they're going to get the first down here to Zeke on the angle route. Going to have to force some kind of some kind of action there. And now Zeke's going to take this one as he's stretching the ball out to the right side. Get strung out there. Commander's defense, 30th in takeaways and does not have one here today. So now play action fake. Looking. And this one's going to be picked off by Forbes. Scratch everything that was said. We do have a takeaway today. Manuel Forbes on a bad throw by Mac Jones is going to get the interception. So now first and 10. Commander should start trying to get one more score. Jesus. Cole Turner now shaking up on the play as Brian Robinson got, I don't know, what was was that an inverted cross road he got hit with? But we are not going to see Cole Turner for, I believe, the remainder of this game. Now that's going to bring up third and nine. So we'll be looking for Logan Thomas on the middle, well, over the middle. Bruce Shoulder, never mind. Cole Turner decides he's going to check back into this game. Now, how looking over the middle is going to find Dotson, who's going to get about five, six yards after the catch. How dropping back, looking over the middle, he'll find Terry McLaurin. He'll have the first down here. So, first and 10 from the 45 yard line, nine minutes left in the game. It's going to be a handoff to Gibson, who's going to take this carry, string it out a little bit, and get the first down. Just continuing to let this clock run here are how the commanders are going to play this ball. Another catch for Dotson. Be tackled out of bounds. And now Sadiq Charles, the starting left guard, is shaken up. There's three injuries within the last three drives. We've already lost our starting center for multiple weeks as he broke his ribs. I don't know. Sounds kind of dirty by the defensive lineman getting them rib shots in while they can. So now we are down our starting center. We are down our starting left guard. I don't know if the run game is going to continue to be as effective as it is. We're going to have to hope. And I mean, based on right there, I don't I don't know how, how we're going to do it. It's now a second and 13. And this ball is going to be punched out as it was. just going to be a sack. But Judon comes over, make sure it gets punched out. And Dietrich Wise is going to pick it up for the Patriots. They have to go 68 yards to get a touchdown here to take the lead. As Jones is going to find Smith-Schuster. He'll have the first down there. Jones over 300 yards now. Now, a handoff to Ezekiel Elliott. Again, going to that right side. Much favored side. 20 rushes, 66 yards. Just over 3 yards to carry. Would you look at that? I'm bringing up the math again. Now, third and one as Farks is going to have this catch. Will they get a first down on this play? It's going to be a handoff to Zeke. Chase Young says no. Matter of fact, pushing him back and making him lose five yards there as he dominates a tight end. You gotta stop leaving a tight end on Chase Young. You gotta put one, two guys on him. Having just a tight end is not gonna work. Now, Gibson, some good blocking on the left side, even though we're missing two offensive linemen there. And I'll take what we can get, as I believe it might be more scheme now than just player level. Now, Chris Rodriguez is gonna get his first carry of the game. He's only going to gain three here, but we do need that change of pace. He's going to actually start to get a few more carries sooner or later as Robinson checks back into the game. Now hand off to Robinson going left side, and that's about what I expected to see. Trying to go left without our starting lineman there is going to be extremely tough. And Howell is going to find Terry McLaurin, who's going to hold on to this catch. Given the commanders a first 
down. Three minutes left in the game, still with a four-point lead here. Robinson going nowhere on that left side. He's going to lose a yard here. Now, how a play-action fake. Just going to try and get this one over to Cole Turner. Ends up being thrown out of bounds. Might consider that a throwaway as there was some pressure in his face. Howell on third and 11, trying to find the screen pass to Robinson. It's going to go nowhere. That's going to bring up fourth and 11. That's going to give the Patriots a chance to go win this game with two minutes left. As now, Zach Pascoe is going to drop this pass from Mac Jones. So, second and 10 here. Jones, no pressure in his face. Looking right side, it's going to find Zeke. He'll be tackled just before the fourth, just before the first down marker. That's going to bring up third and one. Mac Jones starting to say, I'm him. And he's going to hand it off to Zeke. Chase Young having none of that. And now it's going to bring up fourth down, fourth and two. Hand off to Zeke. Chase Young again is having none of it. Chase Young really starting to ball out in this game. So, turnover on downs, a 26-yard line. Hand off to Robinson from the Commanders. As now, with all these quick time maps, the Patriots are trying to save clock. And the Commanders only care about trying to run out the clock. And at, the, at most, just extend it to a seven-point lead in case anything happens here. So how? Another handoff to Robinson. He's not going to get anywhere near the first. I mean, he does gain four after losing a couple to get some of his yards back. But we're going to kick a field goal here. We're going to leave the Patriots with only about 10 seconds left in the game to do anything. But, I mean, anything can happen. They left Patrick Mahomes with 13 seconds, and he went down the field with the Kansas City Chiefs offense with time to spare. So, Jones drops back, and he's just going to throw this one away. That's going to leave five seconds on uh, on the play clock in the game clock excuse me so now coming out under center they're gonna hand this one off to Zeke and I'm not gonna lie to y'all I was so perplexed that I called a timeout with one second left like okay maybe the CPU's on something here try to throw the ball please let's see what you guys can do and they just run it again I guess they were going for you know we're gonna catch you off guard or we're gonna catch up a big run but that's how this game's gonna end 27-20, Commanders walk into Foxborough, and they manage to pull off a win here. After losing to the Eagles, I mean, that's that's got to be good. A nice little rebound game as we get ready for the Seahawks. After the Seahawks, I believe it is the Giants. And after the Giants, I believe it's the Cowboys. So, after the first quarter, we were able to pretty much maintain the lead in this game. No graphic here today. I wanted to go back and just show y'all the regular stats and just go like that. As I do miss them as well. Dotson goes 7 for 172 and two touchdowns. Really, you know, showing he probably could be a number one receiver on any, uh, almost any other team. But on this team, we have two number ones. Still trying to get Curtis Samuel more attention. And I keep saying Diami Brown and I still have not gotten him like too many catches. I think what's going to end up happening there, and I hate to say it, is he's going to it's going to end up having to be next year with the way things are looking. Unless I absolutely force it to happen, it's going to end up being next year, which I'm, I'm going to try and force it. If if anything, by the end of the season is when I'm going to try. Just because I'm just I'm I don't think about it in game. And if I try to put him on the field, then I'm going to force the ball to him and I might end up throwing an interception trying to get the ball to him. Whereas on a few plays, like there are times where I'll just move somebody around. I don't look specifically like, oh, I just want to get the ball to Dotson on this play. Nah, he just happened to be open. Like, I, I'll take that back. There was only one play where I'll force the Dotson, and that was that, uh, that post route where it was kind of like, you know what, let's just let's see what happens. Let's give him a chance. Let's give him a chance. You know, worse is an arm punt. Let's give him a shot. Emmanuel Forbes here. He just got his upgrade. We're going to try and see what we can do to work on that press. If we can get his press up to like 75, I think that's going to be enough that he'll be. Uh, I'm not I'm not saying a better corner, but just we'll be able to play more press altogether. Dodson here is going to get an upgrade. Going to spin on the playmaker. See what upgrades we get here. Everything either short route running or is going to help him, you know, be able to run smoother when he gets the ball in his hands. And if I'm correct, pretty much having a breakout season compared to last year, he really, I don't think he was on the field that much. Forgive me if I'm wrong. I didn't watch the Commanders that much last year. But on the another important side, two injuries. 
Yes, we didn't have a fullback today, but out with a quad string. He'll be back next week. Sadiq Charles broke his thumb. And he'll be out for the next four weeks here. And, I mean, the, the injuries are just kind of piling up on this team. Yes, there was a bunch of guys that were on IR. We added Casey Toolhill at the beginning of the season because of, uh, what was it? Because we were trying to save a roster spot. But Sadiq Charles going on there. And I didn't show up, but Ricky Stormberg having the broken ribs definitely does not help us at all. So, I'm going to leave y'all on that one. As next time, we'll get ready to take on the Seattle Seahawks. If you enjoy, make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. All the good stuff. Why are the Cowboys 8-0? Why? Somebody, please, please. Why are they 8-0? Somebody somebody give me me a real answer, please. I I can't. On that note, I'll see you guys.